hello everyone welcome to clean coder youtube channel so in today's session we are going to learn how to reverse a linked list recursively so in so in an earlier video we have already learned how to reverse a linked list iteratively so if you haven't watched that session i'll highly recommend to watch that session first since you'll get a good insight of the recursive approach already so i'll paste the link to th that session in the description box so please check that out let's uh, move ahead with this problem given the head of a singly linked list uh, we are supposed to reverse the list and return the reversed list so this is my linked list and we are supposed to return this so the head of the linked list here is at one and uh, we are supposed to return uh, this list okay so let's move to our whiteboard so in the recursive category i'll say there are two kinds of solution first one is a top down solution uh, which uh, we'll be covering in this session and there is also a bottom up solution for this problem uh, i'll explain the difference between the, those two so uh, in recursion what we do we do something like this like we call we call a function and that in turn calls something that in turn calls something this this kind of behavior so when we are performing any manipulation while going inside the recursive stack we can call that as top down solution okay so we'll be covering top down solution here there is also a bottom up solution like in that what happens like we are going inside the recursive stack but we are performing manipulations while coming out so this is also possible and this is equally valid solution and uh, this is your homework you so you can try solving this problem in bottom-up manner so let's uh, proceed uh, with the top-down solution so this is our uh, function uh, reverse so this is our reverse function so we are supposed to return the head of the reversed linked list and we are passed the head of original linked list so as a base condition if head is null like an empty list is passed or a list with single node is passed so that is already reversed right so we need not do anything so we are directly returning head in that case okay now uh, these uh, steps are little trickier i would say so you need to watch this carefully so you'll understand better so what we are doing is like assume this is our linked list okay so in this kind of list okay so what recursion would do is recursion would reverse this list okay so recursion would add this kind of link but the problem is that this link the link to original head like original head would still point to two so it will result in a kind of loop so we don't want that what we are doing is that we are directly removing this link and assigning the first node to null up front itself so temp what this is doing is that it is storing the address of the second node and the next of the first node we are making it null so that this link is broken and there is no circular loop in our list so these two steps are basically doing this so now i am calling a auxiliary function here what i am passing is the head of the list and a temp temp is basically the next node so this node and next of that this node are passed in the auxiliary function so let's check this function now so what this function is doing is so it's basically a recursive function right so let's uh, see this what this step is doing okay so uh, head is uh, pointing to this and uh, 
we have a forward pointer which is pointing to the next node so basically temporary pointer i am assigning to forward dot next like forward dot next would be null in this case like this could be the link list given to us and forward dot next would be pointing to this so we would be changing the next pointer of this node so in order to keep the copy of this node i am already assigning a temporary pointer to this node okay now this step is done so forward dot next is head so what i am doing is i am breaking this link this link is broken now and this is pointing to this node so this self loop we already uh, broke initially only in the original function so this is already broken this is null actually okay i'll make it little cleaner so this is the state now so what would happen is that uh, we'll call the recursive function again aux but this time uh, we are passing the forward and temp so temp is pointing to this and forward is pointing to this so this is our new head so this would be our starting point now so head would be this and forward would be this so now uh, what would happen is this kind of link would be established okay this kind of link would be made now in the recursive function so what would happen next so my head would point here and forward would start pointing to null okay so in this case what we are saying is that actually the point where the head is pointing at this state that is the new head of the reverse list so with this base condition what we are doing actually is we are conserving this head and returning that in the recursive calls so this head would be returned and this would be the head which we will be receiving in the function uh, which we declared previously okay so this aux would return the new head so that will return and that would be the head of the reverse list so yeah that's uh, pretty much about the recursive solution so if you want to ha get a good hang of the solution you can try uh, these two test cases uh, running this uh, program dry running this program on these two test cases it will give you a good hang uh, one is uh, with the odd number of nodes and another one is with the even number of nodes so if i uh, quickly iterate through the uh, if i quickly manipulate this code and quickly iterate through this uh, sample input so what would happen is actually first this link is broken so this link got broken and uh, i assigned this to this then what would happen is uh, this link would get broken and i'll assign this to this this to this okay so this would be my new head this is uh, what uh, recursion is doing so similarly here what would happen this link i'll break up front and this would start pointing to this and i'll return this as my new head so these type of dry run uh, you can do on your own and uh, you'll get a better hang of this uh, recursive function so let's uh, move to the complexity analysis now so time complexity analysis is quite straightforward it is o of n since we are visiting each node of the linked list only once in the recursive solution so time complexity is o of n space complexity is also o of n because of recursive stack because uh, function stack is also taking space and which is proportional to the number of nodes so space complexity would be o of n so
so that's uh, pretty much uh, what i wanted to talk about in this solution today if you have any doubts or uh, you want me to explain something in more detail please uh, feel free to add that in the comment section if you like this kind of content please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching